What's up, carpoolers? Corduroy Paco's Mobile Vlogging Unit is back. And we are in steroid effect. Apparently, steroids are back in baseball. I never knew they left. They handed out a whole bunch of suspensions to people and fines, perhaps, or something. I don't, I don't get too much into anything. And now apparently A-Rod, who people are cleveringly call A-Roid, <laughs> has gotten like 200 and something games or something. It's like, they're saying it's career ending because it takes so long, he's so old. So old, the guy's 38. And so now, you know, people are all, you know, on it saying, you know what, it's bad. There's no room for steroids in baseball. It's cheating. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. And look, I agree with that. I think, you know, yeah, get steroids out of baseball. Why make people cheat? Let's just see how people can swing a bat and hit a ball. But see, now there's the whole other, there's this whole other thing with it though. It's like, oh, there should be asterisks beside people's achievements and record breaking things because they were on steroids. And if you open up that can of worms, you're gonna have a lot of worms. If you're gonna asterisk that stuff, then you're gonna have to asterisk a lot of stuff. Like, what about when black people weren't allowed to play baseball? All those records that got broken. It's just whitey playing whitey. So here's the thing, okay, steroids are bad in baseball, they're ruining baseball. But not so long ago, there was a strike in baseball that made everybody hate baseball. That was what was gonna ruin baseball right there, okay? When baseball came back, it was tricky. There wasn't a lot of fans. People were not stoked with the turn of events. What made baseball popular again? Steroids. Not that aftermath of courtroom drama and awfulness, but the crushing, crushing, crushing home runs. 73 home runs in a season type stuff. That put butts back in the seats. I'll tell you which. Did anybody not think these guys are on steroids? Like these were records that held for like decades upon decades upon decades upon decades. And then there's like three guys in the league crushing 70 home runs. It's like where people just like, woo, wow, we, we finally evolved. Well, at least those three guys. Yeah. And the thing with doing steroids in sports is it evolates, evolates? It elevates the athleticism in a way, right? But people are like, no, we don't want it. We don't want it. I know it's more exciting to watch, but I'm not into it. And what if we did that with musicians? If we took all the music we like and tainted it if they were on drugs, do you know how much music we like would be tainted? Ha <laughs> taint. But seriously, you know, we'd still have minor threat in Fugazi, that's for sure. But no one else. Just something to think about, carpoolers. Little nugget, a little, a little chicken nugget of what to put in your brain. Corduroy Paco's chicken nugget of information put in your brain. So carpoolers, what do you think about drugs in sports? What do you think about drugs in anything? What do you think about? I'm thinking you should check out my tweets to Facegram. And as always, please remember to check your mirrors. And I pick my nose.